had this uh, idea since in high school that when we graduate, we'll be doing something together. It was four months or five months after I graduated, Ukhtain uh, launched. Hi, girls. Hi. How are you? Good, thank Mabruk. you. Thank you. I'm in love. Thank you. The club has been amazing so far. Uh, it was uh, an experience for Anne and I. Uh, as designers or artists, uh, we feel like um, we can design anything, we, uh, we can paint anything. So to us, a carpet, it was like an empty canvas, uh, which we just had to fill in with our own style aesthetic. Yeah. Um, why natural, yeah. yeah. It came yeah. very naturally. Uh, the, the inspiration, the design process, the research, it was very interesting to both of us. It was something new. Uh, we've never done anything like this before. But like Munay said, as artists, it, it was a natural progression. That's amazing. Yeah. I like to think yeah. of it as the accessory of mm. an outfit, for example, and the accessory of the interior and the space. So the final touch. Exactly. Or the painting that it's not on the wall, but rather on the floor. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, there has to be like some sort of significance behind the carpet you choose. And we're usually told you should always uh, pick the carpet last after you've already bought your furniture. We actually think it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. So you buy the carpet, the story starts with the carpet, and then you finish the story with the couch, the painting, and so on. So Aya used the Turkish clean making as a source of inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, and when we started reading into it, we noticed that they used a lot of symbols, a lot of motifs. Okay, um, that's so interesting. To share a story. Okay. So there could be a symbol of fertility, a symbol of love, family. Oh, wow. Uh, the, the one symbol that, uh, that, that was so interesting to us was the evil eye. Okay, so you really resonated with exactly. that. Okay. Because we wanted to uh, engage with people on, on the idea of what the evil eye is and how now we've been using it a lot, uh, justifying a lot of situations here it's and there. Very exactly. very it's a then versus now kind yeah. of thing. And when we saw how they used the evil eye in, in, in old Kaleems, it was very interesting. It's not very evident or obvious. But we took those symbols and then we had like our modern take on the okay. evil eye. And uh, you so would you can notice. You see it in the pieces, exactly. right? You would notice the geometric shapes, because this is how you work with Kaleem. So the geometric shape of the evil eye was uh, something that you would definitely see reincurring. Okay. We personally believe people ha uh, are currently using it as a scapegoat. Uh, to a lot of situations. That's really interesting. Yeah, so uh, I uh, broke up with so-and-so because of the evil eye. Okay. Uh, I didn't there's, get this because of the evil okay. eye. So, there's this yeah. negative connotation with evil eye that's out of fear, like Munez is saying, and we wanted to change it around, uh, hence the very vibrant colors okay. we chose uh, for both the kalims and the silk carpets. Um, and it's like a lucky charm to have in your house. So you're actually. changing the narrative. Exactly, exactly. because basically when Evil eye technically is when you are not accepting of what you have or what you don't have, mm -hmm. and therefore you give up the, of the evil okay. eye. So we so were the depth, the depth exactly. behind it. We we're like, you know what? No, it just it's gratitude, and it's just be happy with what you have, and Amazing. that's why they're very colorful. We want to change the energy that is associated with the, the evil eye and have it as like a, a charm and a source of protection. That's exactly. Amazing. So the leap of faith is just faith, faith in oneself, faith in what you created. But we also grew up with this uh, notion in our head. We wanted to, to work with something out of passion. So working something that we loved was fashion, art. We had this uh, idea since in high school that when we graduate, we'll be doing something together. Okay. So getting into university was still in the back of our head. Once we graduate, we're still starting something together. So it really, like, when I first graduated, I. It was four months or five months after I graduated, Ukhtain uh, launched. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was super, uh, it was very uh, instinct, yeah, like, part of what we wanted to do. And you have your brother works with you yes. as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to see. We do this there's awkward no dance. dance. <laughs> hey, yes, like, there's no dance. <laughs> We do, we do have a sister dance, but she just doesn't want to... No, we don't have this. You have the Munez dance, and I'm usually laughing at that dance. What's my dance? 
عندي فيديوز كثيره مره فتشي ايوه الاوفيس عاد في خوشه ترقصي اه يا اوكي بس ات ديبندز وات وي سيليبريت وورد جود نيوز هابي نيوز يا وي هاف ذا بس وي هاف ذا هاي فايف لا وي هاف ذا هاي فايف دي دايما بنعملها وي اولويز دو ذس وي سيليبريت اند شي لايك شفتي قلت لك قلت لك اصل 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 يا ذاتس واي هاف ذا